So, so we're uh, here at the truck dealership about to take the truck on KJ's and then signing the rest of the paperwork for it. And they just brought it back, so I'm gonna go on another test drive to make sure everything is the way I planned it to be. Because they did the, and the check engine light's on. What the fuck? Why is the check engine light on? See, this is that bullshit. I'll hit y'all right back. Okay, so, okay, so they said the reason why the check engine light was on was because of the, they did the fuel filter. It caused the, uh, it did something with the fuel wheel and messed with the fuel wheel pressure. So whenever, like apparently on pack cars, when you break the pressure in the fuel rail, it causes the check engine light to come on for a few cycles of the engine running or whatever. So that's what that was. That guy right there, that high speed individual right there just, uh, Explain to me exactly what was going on with it. So we're good. So now I'm about to go on a test drive and see and see what's going on and see make sure they did the speed right and all that stuff. So let's go for a ride. And they changed like I had this seat right here. This, this was like the KW Legacy seat or whatever. They uh they had one on this side, but the base was broken on it so they replaced the base on it on this on this on this seat too so yeah here we go here we go here we go satellite video y'all getting hit with the did i close the hood did i close the hood i don't know if i close the hood or not now i gotta check and stop and check that and make sure i close that shit. Real quick. That one's locked. That one's locked. Good to go. Let's go for a quick blast off down the road. driving this thing on the test drive or whatever because the mirrors are all jacked up. gears a little bit but that's all right that's okay so turn the speed limit up to 75 so let's see about this thing doing 75 boost control on set bump it up nope didn't take you said it probably didn't take nope 72 so we got to go back and let them turn it up I can't drive 65 or in this case I don't like doing 72 because when you get out there in West Texas and you feel like you're holding up progress and I do not want to be one of those people out there holding up progress when people are and people can actually run the speed limit you know so go, and go back and let them bump that up a little bit and then pay these people some money and then we'll be on our way I look like you can, I don't know if you can see this vibration a little bit, but that's because the tires are cold. A lot of times when tires are cold, they uh 
But I know in big trucks anyway, the tires get cold, they don't uh they don't do they're stiff basically. It's kinda like you when you wake up in the morning and you were stiff, you don't feel like moving, you vibrating and shit. Well you wobbly. That's what this that's what it's like in a big truck. Tides get tired, they get tired, boss. They just be tired. They be tired tires. That's funny. And so yeah. It's gonna be the second truck at KJ's car which is kind of exciting. I'll be excited when we get that first, like our first two trucks on the road check. That, that's gonna be pretty cool. That's gonna be pretty cool. Yep. So yeah, she yeah, she runs good, man. Like she runs good. Some people might not buy a truck with uh almost 700,000 miles on it and for me I I don't really care I mean I care but I don't care because I know that these truck a lot of these most of these trucks are designed to run for at least a million miles and I, and a lot of people say like don't get the pack cars but if you notice a lot of the major fleets the mega fleets they run pack cars in their in their fleets because of the fuel mileage and uh how good they 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 uh, their maintenance is the main, as long as you keep up with the maintenance schedules, like these trucks will last for a really long time. So that's that's one of the reasons why I don't mind getting a pack car. And everyone that says don't buy a pack car, that's your opinion. That's it's pretty much just your opinion. Yeah, that's just your opinion. So it'll be all right. So the way I see it, come off and this is exit two zero five and turn around and go back my five miles back and go back to the go back over there pay these folks and then I got it it's, what I've learned about being an adult is it seems like there's never enough time in a day to do the things that you want or need to do and that pretty much sucks man good lord and it always seems like there's some kind of a hiccup whenever you're in the process of doing stuff it's, it's always seems like there's a hiccup and that that something else is really freaking annoying it's just, it drives me crazy. Like, it's like you set plans up and you have things lined up and, and try to make them fall in line. And then it just seems like, you can see if this thing got check engine light on and freaking supposed to do other stuff today. I gotta go to my parents' house and put a chair together and freaking fix the printer. I don't know, it's just so much stuff. I wish I can go back to being like 13 years old with no bills, no stress. But you all, if you ever notice, like the people that don't have any stress, they're not doing anything with their life. And that causes a different stress, in my opinion anyway. I feel like that causes a, more stress. That causes stress too, because you're not doing anything so you don't have nothing to worry about. This AC is Johnny on mother freaking point. I'll tell you that. i tell you that. This, that. Damn, this trying to miss the tight. It's like the... The shift link is pushing and all that stuff. All right. Yeah, I guess that little Mustang thought he was gonna try to scoop beside me right here. No sir. No sir, Mr. V6 Mustang man. I like that. The T660 Studio Sleeper. Those are good looking trucks too. Those are good looking trucks too. I wonder if it would be legal to put for me to put a suicide knob on here. Put a suicide knob on here and be I could be like the like the real big truckers. Dang. Grinding, what's that? I don't know, I forgot what gear that was. It was one of them. It was an eighth gear. Whoa! Hook it up, 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 hook it up. Zoom. Is this dude gonna let me get in? I don't know. He's gonna find out today, though. Let me in, Mr. Volvo, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, so who the freak is this calling me? Ah, uh, it's kitchen. Yeah, I'll call it back. Uh, let
left my headset in the uh, at the, in, in the car. So I don't know if you can see the steering wheel or not, but since like see the tires got a little bit of heat in them, now the oh my god, look at this shit! Look at this fucking ass fuck. Turd bird ass motherfucker. He just, motherfucker just holding up parking. See, this is what irritates me. People like this fuckhead right here. Just all up in your wages. I gotta come up on this next exit and this freaking pneumatic tanker over here just, yeah, I'm just hauling ass down 75 running to 62 mile an hour. Golly. Golly. God, man. Just, hey, okay, so he must have just got empty because I remember when I was working at AR. You didn't have to put your cap back on once you got emptied out. So he's empty and still holding up progress. I wonder if I should make a video about all the trucking jobs I've had, because I've had a couple, I think like 12 I've had so far. And the longest I've ever worked at one is the one that I own, because because I'd be like that sometimes. This freaking douche nozzle right here, I mean, he's just hauling ass, 65 mile an hour. Can't tell him shit. Hey, ain't nobody tell me nothing. Fuck my phone. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Oh my God, I can pass this dude. Still got a mile to go. Resume. Get back on my 72. All up in the way, not giving a shit about nobody but that empty ass trailer you pull on. Just hooking up, hooking up, hooking up, hooking up, hooking up, hooking up. Um, truck clean as shit, I can tell you that much. Truck is clean. It's all shined up like a new penny. Okay, so this truck has the uh, has the disc brakes all the way like on the front anyway. I don't know if it has it on the back. I'm, I'll check when we get back over there to the yard. But yeah, I know it has the disc brakes on the front, and these things are smooth. This just like when you hit the brakes, it just it slows down so smooth, and none of this freaking. Blah, 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 it's not like riding around in my in my black truck. Oh, Black Betty. Yeah, you can't go wrong with old Black Betty. Mm -hmm. Yep. Bam, blam, oh, blam, 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 blam. I want to buy one of those old. Oh. Kayaker. Oh shit, son, he gonna hit that fucking car, ain't he? make this ridiculous U-turn right here. Let me see. Jake break angle age. So I gotta stay pretty much like this. I gotta take up both of these lanes so that I can make this U-turn without making a a bike up. I'm gonna start off back here. Yep. 
Go on by on, man. Get on out the ray. Get on on about the ray. Uh, just break off. Don't need that on right now. Still got to do a backup. Shit. Go talk to this high speed individual a little bit because he got to raise the speed up on it a little bit and then then we'll be good to go it didn't take the 75 okay uh it's a good old boy right there uh, they're all parking on that down there <laughs> and leave there boy me <laughs> I'll pick y'all up once I uh, once we get back in the truck and I give her a ticket to the house. See y'all later. Well, we just got it going and like he got it toned up, turned up, turned up to uh, 75 miles an hour because it can't go further, it can't go faster than that because it will mess up the warranty and whatnot. So I want to keep the, my warranty as long as I gotta clean the lens off the lens. There we go. Yeah, they, now I want to keep the warranty as long as possible. So I'm about to go jump on 75 and head to the house. So go for a little ride well i'm going to my truck parking and then then kj is going to come pick me up from the truck parking and go to the house well i'm not going to record all the way going to the house because it's just just going to be me riding up the road or whatever so i'm going to take it up the road i'm taking it up 75 to make sure to go 75 mile an hour and then that'll be it that'll be the rest of it anyway here we go this ac is i promise you johnny on point Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. So it in darkness every day. Oh. Ain't no sunshine when it's on. It's when it's on. Nick's do the big gone every time because we don't play. Can I clear that? I don't know. We're about to find out. Yep, I cleared it. Hook it up, hook it up, hook it up. Huh? I call her old Bessie. Let's see how old Bessie do. And I'm glad I didn't get the uh, the digital thing right here now. Well, on the, I think it's right here. I'm glad I didn't get that because apparently that is wired into the computer of the truck and that cause that can cause a whole lot of issues if that just that screen goes out. So. So yeah, I'm glad I didn't get that. But it does look cool though. It does look cool. Come on, Christy England. Yep. Third gear engage. Mm. The old pack car. Got me an old Picard. Pack a car, pack a car. I think it's a. I think pack car is, a, is like an acronym for Pacific Car and Rail. Is what it is.
speed on the gas. Oh, what the fuck? It still only do 72. Oh man. It's still only 72. I stay there all that extra time and I'll let them know next time I come back through. I'll definitely let them know next time I come through. Okay, so that slows it down. I'll let them know next time I come back through and they'll turn it up. I get it turned up. But yeah, it's still that 72, but 72 is still plenty fast enough to ride across the ride across America. I'm really excited about running my first load and all that stuff. See how she pulled with a freaking put 40,000 pounds on her back and see how she do with that. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. Hang on, here we go. Here we go, here we go, satellite video. Y'all getting here, ba -doo, ba -doo. All right, so got the truck, taking it to the house. I guess I'll, uh, I'll hit y'all up whenever I get my first load and head out from, it's probably gonna, my first load is probably gonna be out of Cactus going down to uh, Deerfield Beach, cause that is, that's, that's the money load apparently. So uh, like, subscribe, comment below, and see y'all later.